How long does a divorce take in Ireland? So that's a really good question. And again, it goes back to who's involved and what's involved. So if you have a proper plan from the off, that's going to shorten things. Let's focus in on what you really want from the divorce. I'm going to keep objective on it. I'm going to ask you time and time again, is this still what you want? You want your kids to be looked after. You want regular access. You want no access. You want maintenance. You want no maintenance. You want to sell the house. You want to buy the person out on the house. All of these things are your main objectives in it. And as we go along, we're going to keep addressing those. So the more complicated they get, the longer it's going to take. Generally between a year to 18 months is, is, is how long it takes in Ireland. What about for say somebody who might not be able to afford to live in a different house? Okay, so you do get situations where you have same house, different households. So one of the couple, they can't move out. They, they're in a joint property with a joint mortgage. There's no wiggle room in that respect. So the real world is coming into the emotional fallout of the family law situation as well. The bank is the big issue, they can't move. So what you have is, you have two people, marriage is gone, they can still apply. It's one house, two separate households. So they can still apply for the divorce. Uh, it can be worked out in that way. How are assets divided in divorce in Ireland? So the division of assets, um, unfortunately, um, notwithstanding children, relationships with children, um, becomes 99% of divorce cases becomes the, the main focus of everybody involved. It's not a 50-50 split. You're not automatically going to split everything down the middle, unless it's a very friendly kind of breakup and you take your half and I'll take mine. But most cases, the division of assets is always, and it has to be maintained, and I think it's something that's forgotten in, in a lot of solicitors' conversations, is provision. The divorce legislation is underpinned by the requirement of the courts to ensure that all of the parties are provided for, and that's how the division of assets will be looked at. Do people change their mind halfway down the, the road? I've not seen people change their mind, but I have seen people that couldn't even look in the general direction of each other at the start, maybe coming out in the end and, I don't know, shaking hands or having a hug or fist pump or whatever it is and moving on. Because you know what, in a lot of cases, there's beautiful children there and they're going to be part of each other's lives until these children are up and gone and married and have their own children. So if you can see past you know, the, the, the current anger and disappointment and, and you know, let downness for want of a better description of, a fail, of the failed marriage, then you can look forward because you have to be, you have to be in each other's lives. How much does a divorce cost in Ireland? I think the most important answer to that question is every family law solicitor is obliged to let you know before anything starts, how much that this process is going to cost. My experience with regards to, you know, double income, uh, one house, two or three kids, uh, goes on for 18 months, maybe two years before it's finalised. You could be paying anything from eight, nine thousand to twenty, twenty-five thousand. But again, you're never not going to know how much it's going to cost. And the solicitor is going to be able to work out, on average, how much is this going to cost when you tell them what's going on with the situation. They will know as to how complicated it may or may not get and the fees will be reflected on that.